what's up sumo links i'm your host amit and today i'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use spot i'll put a link in the description below let's get started i'm on the app sumo deal page and the link to this page is in the video description and here are the plans you can get for spot you get thousand credits a month three thousand six thousand and you can stack up to 10 codes uh, what do these credits mean so for every hover over an overlay is counted as a credit so let's dive right into it. I'm in my spot dashboard. When you first log in, uh, you're taken through an onboarding process, which takes about 30 seconds. It's pretty quick. And I have to give it to the spot team because their UI is spot on. And uh, I've already created two projects. So I'm gonna show you how those projects look. Uh, but before I get into that, let's just walk through some of the things in the dashboard here. Uh, not a lot going on in the dashboard, which is amazing. What you can see here is you have your media. So I'm on my media tab, which is kind of like the main dashboard, which shows I have a video and a image right now. Then you have assets. Assets are things that are overlays on top of your media. And it is important to create an asset first instead of creating it on the fly, because I'm gonna show you in a second how these assets work. And then styles are basically their templates that you can use for all these medias. So these are the different tem uh, styles and you can create your own set for your own brand colors. And then reporting shows you all your media reports, how many people have hovered over it, clicked over it, etc. So let's get started. I'm gonna go back to media. So I'm on the media tab. I have an image and a video uploaded. So let's start with an image. This is an image for a 14 day launch on a online course platform called New Zendler. So on this left side of the screen, you have all your assets that you have already created. So before we get started with adding more assets to this particular image, let's go and create an asset. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go into my assets. We're just going to create a simple asset. I'm gonna call this day nine. And then here you can pick the language, which is awesome. And you have all these languages to choose from. And I'm just gonna pick English. Now you can add an image about your asset. And you can see in the back end here, I've added some earrings, I've added the number four, but I wanted to show you that you can add an image. And these are preset properties that come within your spot account, but you can delete these and you can add new ones. So if I wanna add a new field and call this course price, then we're just gonna hit save. So now my asset is created. What I can do now is go back into media, go to my image here, and now I want to add that asset. So that asset is gonna show up on the left side and these are all your assets. You can search for your assets here. It's all automatically sorted by creation date. You have your sets, which are the preset styles that we already saw. And if I click on Spark, I can see all the different styles that I have under the Spark template. I'm just gonna go to categories, click on this asset dropdown and everything shows up here. And you can kind of see the style that is showing because I don't have an image for this particular asset, I'm going to choose a simple style without an image. So this one simple tag, I'm gonna drag it and just drop it on my image and it shows up right here on day nine. Now here's where it is good if you already have an asset created because these fields are dynamic fields which are pulling from your asset itself. So you don't need to do anything here. The URL is already in your asset which we created and the click action is open URL. You can change the click action to either have it open in an iframe pop-up, open form, or trigger a JavaScript event. Super powerful stuff what you can do here. We're gonna to stick to simple basic, which is open URL. And that's pretty much it. Now what I can do is I can preview. And since this is not a video, so now I have hit the preview button and this opens up. In this window, there are a few other things that are going on. First, it's going to show you all the overlays that you have done with your image. So I can see there's one overlay here. This one is a different style because it shows the image and the title. And then this third one, it has a button as well. And then this one that we just added, I didn't give it the name, so it's pulling blank, but we can go and fix that. When I click on it, it takes me to that site that I had added. So it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let's go and fix that. I'm going to go give this a name and we'll call it day nine. And then for the URL, I thought I added the URL, but let's go back and look at our asset to see if that URL is in there. In my day nine asset, and the URL is definitely in here. Now I wanna make sure that this works. Okay, it does bring me to day nine because I can show you that it does work with the other URLs that I have input in here. So for example, if I click on day four, 
I click on start day four, it opens up the notion page for day four. And that's, that's how it works. You basically add an overlay, select what kind of overlay you wanna add, and then select where that overlay should link to. This comes in super duper handy if you're selling e-commerce merchandise. And I'm gonna show you that example right now. Before we get to that, the few things that I wanna show here, at the bottom you can see interactivity by spot. If you want to remove this, simply click the hide spot logo. You can also look at the sizes here, fixed, original, or responsive. I'm gonna leave it at responsive. Reveal type, uh, you have static bubbles flash. I haven't really seen much of a difference on what it does. Data form, if you did have a form that you were opening instead of the URL click, then this would come in handy. And then you can also either do JavaScript embed, iframe embed, or share the link. So someone who clicks this link will directly be taken to this image. Once you're done, you can just copy this link. So here's your share link. And then finally, once you're done and you're ready to embed this, here's what it looks like. I am on my website and I have this embedded on my WordPress site. Let me just bring this down so you can see this is on my WordPress site. This is the embed. If I click on any one of these, uh, now I can actually refresh this. And when, when I refresh this, you see that it automatically takes in that new overlay action that you had added. So if I click on day nine, it should take me to day nine. Same thing here. If I click on day three, it takes me to day three. So the, uh, this is how these overlays work. All right, so let's get back to our app here because the next thing I'm gonna show you is video because video is really where spot shines in my opinion. And I'm gonna show you how I have been able to use it. And here I have added three products and I'm gonna add a fourth product with you so you can see how it's done. So before I add anything else, I wanna show you in preview what this video looks like. It works pretty seamlessly. You can see these different trackers come in. One, you have the earrings right here. And then if we go back here, you also have the jacket that she's wearing and also the inner shirt that she's wearing and you can click the buy now button. Now you'll notice that the jacket and the shirt don't show the price but this one shows the price and also shows some descriptions. And if they click on purchase now, they're taken to the product page. Now, how you do this is super duper simple. And this is where I love the spot functionality of how easy it is. And what happens is once you open this video editor, you can drag and drop your assets right onto the frame and then it opens up a timeline at the bottom and you decide when this should come in and when it should leave from the view. So this is the latest one we added. You can drag it and drop it anywhere on the screen based on where that video is headed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a new asset. Let's do that together. And this one is going to be the sunglasses that I talked about earlier. So let's go back to all media. I'm gonna create a new asset and this time it's going to be sunglasses. Here's my URL for the sunglasses product uh, language is English and then here's my image for the sunglasses so I've added the price brand and description you can again add a new field uh, we had already created a new field but it seems like that field was not globally accepted so to me it looks like you have to create a new field every time you create an asset now I want to add the sunglasses on the video overlay you can see that the sunglasses have showed up in my assets uh, library here and what I want to do is I want to play this video, get to the part where she has the sunglasses or she puts the sunglasses on and that's when I want to tag it with my sunglasses. So right here, now what I want to do is drag this and drop it here and you can see it automatically does the start time of when you dragged it onto the frame. Now this is where things get a little tricky because right now this is static, which means on every frame, I have to go and move this. If I just hit play, that spot is going to stay right there and not move. What I have noticed is to make this work better, you can simply go under tracking and make this tracking automatic. Now it does say that automatic is in beta. I find it to work perfectly fine during my testing. One thing what I was not able to do is once you set it at automatic, I can't figure out how to change the in and out time of the frames when this overlay should come in and when this overlay should disappear and then the next thing we're going to do is select the style for the sunglasses one and this time 
we want to show a different one that we haven't used yet. Let's go with this one right here. And you can see all of these properties show up, but the price and description is nowhere to be found. So what I've done here is I've added a separator after the name uh, dynamic field, and then I added the price dynamic field. And then on the subtitle, I've added the description dynamic field. This is how you can import your dynamic fields and they're going to pull data right from your asset. See, when I do automatic, I have no way to change this timeline, but that's okay. Let's just hit play. And I'm going to add the same asset again. And this time I'll increase the timeline and then hit the automatic tracking. I'm going to say start over here and then let's hit play and see when it goes away. So this is good, but now I want to make this automatic. And again, that's the one glitch that I've noticed is when you make it automatic, the timer, you have no control on how long it stays on screen for. Now, what we can do is preview this. And when that sunglasses shows up right here, when I click on hover over this, you can see it shows the price. It also shows the description and the title. Now it's not showing uh, whether this price is in dollars, euros, yen, whatever. So let's go ahead and change that. All right, I've made the change added the dollar sign in front of my price. Now we can go back and edit this canvas. And here, I'm actually also going to add the brand. That was another dynamic field that we didn't pull in. So now I have added the brand. I'm gonna change the buy now button. And let's preview this. At this point, we have made all the changes. Here's my first product. For this product, I have the purchase now button. For this one, I have the buy now. For this one, I also have the buy now button. So you can see how I have used these different overlays. And then as the video progresses, they go in and out of the frame and then new ones come in. This time it's showing the brand, the price, the purchase button, and they can also click right here to get to purchasing the product. They don't need to click the purchase button. So that's how you can use it. The Again, the possibilities are endless. I There are a lot of options. I didn't want to show you each and everything. I assume you're just like me where you are ready to get in to the spot dashboard and start playing around. Before we leave, I do wanna embed this on my WordPress site and see how this looks. So I'm just gonna hit embed and share. Now the same things happen here. Um, you have your copy code. So I'm on my WordPress site. Let's preview and see what this looks like. Works perfectly within your WordPress site. You have the overlays right here. Great job spot team. I think our sumo links are never happy. So I'm sure we're not happy about the credits we are getting. But that's the deal that we have and I for sure am going to keep this deal. And there you have it Sumo Links. That's how you can use Spot starting today. $59 is their lowest package on AppSumo. Grab that deal. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time I release a new video. And I will see you on the flip side. Keep creating.